This comes as Cumberland County also is under a heat advisory. Meanwhile, a helping hand and a friendly voice, those are the tools being used to keep people safe in this heat. CBS North Carolina's Nate Rogers gives us an inside look at the plan to keep the homeless and elderly cool. With temperatures still in the 90s, various churches as well as city and county groups are all coming together to help those in need. About this time on Tuesday, we usually look forward to seeing him because he's more than just a pastor. He's like a friend. Grinda Carter is talking about Christopher Davis and Force of Life Ministries in Fayetteville. For three years now, every Tuesday at 11 a.m., the ministry feeds those less fortunate in the parking lot across from the AIT building. And on a day like today, water was in high demand. When our people come out here, our friends come out here, we give them no less than two bottles. And if people come by, even in their cars, and we're out here, even if they're not homeless, we give them bottles of water. Hello. Good morning, Miss Gibson. This yeah, is Chris. I was calling to make sure you was okay this morning. And especially during heat advisories, this young lady is one of Cumberland County's greatest treasures. You have yourself a good, blessed day. And the same to you. Thank you. Uh-huh. Bye-bye. Uh -huh. Chris Beeland calls seniors five days a week just to check in. The effort was organized by the sheriff's office many years ago. Oftentimes, if Beeland doesn't get a response over the phone, she'll send police to their home. They could have fallen or something, or could be deceased, and nobody haven't checked on them. Beeland says the seniors on her list all live alone, and despite the weather, it's always good to have someone to talk to. They'd be so happy for me to call them, and I'm happy to talk to them, too. They're just like my family. Now, those well-being checks for seniors are free to sign up or learn more information. Go to our website. In Fayetteville, I'm Nate Rogers, CBS North Carolina.